Hey everyone, in this video, I wanted to show you how to clean up your iCloud storage. So if you get a message that tells you that your storage on iCloud is full on your iPhone or iPad, I'm gonna show you how to clean that up and get some of that storage back so you don't get that message again and you can back up your iPhone. So first, let me show you how to get to this page so you could see what's going on with your iCloud storage. What you wanna do is go to your settings and under settings, you just wanna basically click your name on top there, your account, your Apple ID iCloud, that's the very first link. So go ahead and press that. It will take you to this page, your Apple ID page. You should see an iCloud option here. Go ahead and click iCloud. Now here, it shows you storage. Now by default, you only have five gig of used data. I upgraded to the 50 gig plan. And as you could see here, 50 gig of 50 gig is used here. So I need to figure out what's going on here and empty some space and apps using iCloud, I could look here and see what apps are actually being backed up to iCloud. So my photos, that's probably what's taken up most of the space, that's turned on, mail, contact, calendar, reminder, messages is turned off, Safari, home health, all these other stuff are turned on. So for the future, I could turn some of these off to reduce some of this space. So I could turn pages, books, numbers, keynote, all these are turned on right now. So all these are going into my iCloud. So I could reduce space in the future by going through these and turning some of these off. But to manage my storage now, I'm gonna go ahead and press manage storage. That will take me to a page where it's gonna show me what's going on with my storage. So it looks like 30 gigs here is photos and another 30 gigs is backup and my mail is taking up a bulk of the space as well. So I could see all the different apps and all the different photos and backups that are taking up space. So knowing what the top threes are, most of the times in your case, it's gonna be photos or sometimes it's gonna be messages. So if you go back here and you see the messages option, you could actually turn that off here and then you won't use iCloud. And for photos, if I click on photos, I could turn off iCloud photos and download my photos and back them up another way. So for example, you could turn off iCloud photos here and turn on upload to my photo screen, which does not use iCloud. Another thing I recommend is backing up everything to a computer right now. So let me jump into a computer. I'll just show you for a couple of seconds how to back this up if you have a computer handy because we are gonna delete some stuff here. So I do recommend backing everything up to a different device and a computer is a really easy option to do it through iTunes. So on a computer, when you plug in your phone, you have to physically plug your phone in with a USB cable or the lightning cable to your computer and iTunes either will pop up or go ahead and turn on iTunes or download it if you don't have it. Basically, you need the latest iTunes here and your phone should appear like this if you've never connected it before. If you click that, it's gonna show you what's going on with your phone. And here, under backups, iCloud is the automatic backup option, but you could choose this computer. A full backup of your iPhone will be stored on this computer, and that includes those photos. So I recommend doing that, and another place I recommend going and checking is iCloud.com. If you sign into iCloud.com, you'll have a better access of your photo. So let me go ahead and sign in and show you what I'm talking about here. So when you come to iCloud.com, you will have basically all your iCloud options here. And you could go to photos here. And under photos, you could select any of the items you want and you could go ahead and press download here and download them to this computer or to the device that you're searching this on. By doing so, you can make sure you have basically your entire photo library downloaded to a computer if you don't trust the automated method that I showed you through iTunes. Now, let me jump back into the phone to show you the rest of the process. Okay, so now that I know that half the storage is taken up by my photo, I could go ahead and click on my photo here and it's gonna ask me to disable and delete my photos. And obviously you have to make sure you back up your photo library before you do this, because if you do delete this, it won't let you recover. It does give you 30 days, it says to download your photos and videos. Another option that I've used to keep this even more safe is I downloaded another app called Google Photo. So Google Photo actually allows me to download all my photos and videos outside of iCloud. So it doesn't affect my iCloud storage. So, and it's totally free. So that's another option is using Google Photo. I have a different video on how to use that. So now under settings, let's go to manage storage one more time. And I'm gonna look under my backups and see what's going on here. 
So under the backup, it looks like I have a old backup that's taking 13 gigs. So you could look under here and see what's going on. This one is almost a year old. So I could go ahead and delete this backup. I no longer need it because I have two backups of this phone. And just like that, I emptied about 13 gig of storage. So under manage storage, just make sure you check under backup. And with photos, if you downloaded it to the computer and use Google Photos as a backup, go ahead and delete this. This is really what's taking up most of the space, but this is also what I care about the most. So that's why I made sure I backed that up to a computer via iTunes and used Google Photo and looked at iClouds.com to make sure I'm not missing any photos here before I delete it. So that's usually my last option here. And the very last thing you could do, you could just change your storage plan. So if you click check storage plan, I'm getting this one for just 99 cents a month, which I ran out of space on, but for 2.99 a month, I could go up to 200 gigabytes. So those are all your options of clearing your iTunes storage or upgrading to a bigger plan if you really don't wanna touch anything you got going on here. And hopefully some of these settings can really reduce your iCloud storage like my backup just did without having to really get rid of anything. I still have the latest backup here that was created just yesterday. So I don't have to worry about losing any information here. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a like and subscribe to this channel for easy to follow tech videos just like this one. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.